As far as the economic benefit goes, I think I've been saying for a long time, let's imagine that no, not a single uh, position is going to be held by someone who lives in North Granville. And I've talked about, and you, you diminish the impact by saying a few sandwiches and a you know, tank of gas. Um, we are just about to host one of the biggest events we've seen in the IPM. And they're talking about 80,000 people to 100,000 people coming through the doors. Um, I'm going to make a calculation and uh, I, will, I will adjust it according to a conversation I had with Don Sherritt. Where is Don? There he is, way back there. So 100,000 people. We're not going to have the IPM every quarter every year, maybe the last time we have the IPM. Previous to the IPM coming through at the end of December, our largest event that drew people into this community was Campo Live. And they, and they talked about you know 20,000 people coming for Campo Live. An economic impact of 155,000 visits per year. People driving in to North Grenville, they don't live here. So yes, gas, sandwiches, services, whatever, going out to dinner. Now, Mitch, I, I, you're going to say, you know, they don't spend as much because they're told to go home and don't mix with the natives or whatever. I, I'll take that with a grain of salt. Now, to Don's, uh, to, to Don's conversation I had with Don out there, he's saying that they identified Kempfel as being a hot spot because more correctional service workers live in Kempfel right now that would be servicing this um, facility. So I'll cut that number in half. Instead of 155,000, let's say 75,000 people a year coming into this town, with, driving in with their wallets. I, you know, I think we have to acknowledge that there will have positive economic impact. How much? Well, that's a really good question. How much impact is it going to have? Is it just minuscule or is it going to be significant? And I would love, maybe the, the next council might want to fund such a study. It's inexpensive to do that, that kind of economic study. The next council might want to do it, but it has to be specific to the North Grenfell situation. You can't base your decision based on some statistics from Alberta or for upstate New York. Thank you.